This is basically less than 10% of the Republican majority holding the majority back to say, if you don't give us what we want, we won't support your leader. And because the margin of victory is so small, they have the power to do it. The Republican Party may have taken control of the House of Representatives, but they have yet to figure out who from their party is going to be the next Speaker of the House. Today, Kevin McCarthy tried and tried and tried again and failed to win the job. Joining us now is the Chief Communications Officer for America First Policy Institute, Mark Lauder. Mark, this was a, just a crazy day. It's been 100 years, 1923, when it had to go at least to a second ballot to choose the Speaker of the House. Where do you see this ending? They broke for today and they'll gather tomorrow. There is a lot of negotiating and screaming happening, I'm sure, right about now. Yeah, I think that's what will happen for the rest of the night. You'll have uh, the McCarthy team reaching out to those 20 to see if there's anything they can offer put on the table that they're willing to give that, uh, you know, that, that could bring them back into the fold. He only needs to get 16 of those 20. Uh, but if not, I wouldn't be surprised if some point tomorrow morning, maybe late morning, you start to have those discussions of who is the person that can pick up the gavel, who can get to 218, because this is not what the American people elected. They, want, they wanted an America first majority to secure the border, to defend religious liberty, to, to make sure that we are energy independent again. This political Washington infighting, it's fascinating for us who are, who are in it. It's fascinating for the news media. I think it repulses most people at home because it's like they just, you're, these are our tax dollars, get to work and do work on behalf of the American people, not this. So at some point it becomes uncomfortable for Jim Jordan and Steve Scalise, both of whom might have the votes if it came down to it to become speaker, but they, they can't outwardly try to get it yet until McCarthy says, I can't, I can't do this, I don't have the votes, right? Yeah, theoretically, that's the way it'll happen. I mean, obviously, you know, Steve Scalise and Jim Jordan have both been very clear they support uh, Kevin McCarthy. In fact, uh, you know, Jim Jordan is the one who uh, nominated him to be speaker uh, during one of these ballots. So, you know, this is not a surprise. This is also not new. I mean, let's not forget, you know, it was just a few years ago, I think, when uh, Kevin McCarthy was up for speaker, the, there was a revolt, and we ended up with Paul Ryan as the speaker, who also at the time didn't want to be speaker of the House. House. So it's not the first time it's happened. It's just very unfortunate in terms of the timing. The longer it goes, I think the longer it becomes a problem for Republicans. But if we can get it solved tomorrow, I think most of the American people will forget about it. Let's get on with legislating. Yeah, 2015, Boehner had to resign because uh, the conservatives pushed him out, basically. And you're right, McCarthy couldn't get the votes then, and he's having a problem right now. If it were still the five holdouts, maybe McCarthy cut a deal with five Democrats, but that can't happen now with 20 at least uh, going against him, right? It could. It just depends on what those 20 are. And this is the real the real disappointing part is that this is not a policy argument. Right. I mean, these are not they're all running on the same policies. They're all talking about the same policies. This is about that group of 20 seeking power, influence and and committee assignments that the rest of the that the rest of the body doesn't is not willing to give or rules changes. And uh, so this is basically less than 10 percent of the Republican majority holding the majority back to say, if you don't give us what we want, we won't support your leader. And because the margin of victory is so small, they have the power to do it. But I don't even think at this point it's about what they want because McCarthy gave them just about everything. Now it's, we don't want Kevin McCarthy. And it went from five holding out to now 20. That's, you know, that's the wrong direction for McCarthy. Yeah, it's really, it's, again, it's not about policy. It's about personalities right now. And, and for some reason, he cannot get this deal closed. I'm not sure if that will happen tonight or tomorrow morning. Uh, but I would be surprised if we don't go at this time tomorrow and have a speaker. I don't know who it will be, but I think that, that the Republicans realize we've got to get to work. We've got to do what the American people sent us to Washington, D.C. to do. And we can let this play out tonight and tomorrow, but we've got to have it done by tomorrow. Mark Lauder, America First, thank you so much. More drama tomorrow from the House of Representatives.